All right, what is up? Got something new for the channel. Also a little test that I want to try out. Um, I want to do a little bit of a playthrough series of Project Zomboid. Uh, strictly vanilla, beginner, tutorial friendly. T tutorial friendly, yeah. Beginner friendly is what I meant to say. Informational tutorial type video about surviving your first day in Project Zomboid and hell, even surviving your first week. I'll probably end up doing like surviving your first week anyway because it's something that I want to do and I enjoy doing stuff like this. But also, I love this game so much. I just wanted to, to give it an upload on this channel as an actual video and just give something to the community of this game anyway. But whether you're new to this game or you bought it and you haven't played it yet and you're just trying to figure stuff out and if you're one of those guys or people that uh, play the game and learn it while playing, good for you. That's how I did it a little bit. I did it like that. But what I wanted to do was do a strict vanilla playthrough, surviving your first day, all the little tips you need to know, what you should do, what you want not to do, things like that. And this is going to be pretty much just raw footage, no editing probably whatsoever. So if I... If I'm scuffed, I'm scuffed. That That's pretty much what we're going to do. This first episode is probably going to be a little yapathon. It's going to be a little, little yapathon. Because I'm going to kind of go through a lot of the stuff before uh, playing the game. Um, don't worry, this is strictly vanilla. All the mods here I have disabled except for just the background that I have. So it's strictly vanilla. Um, I just wanted to keep the background. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to go through straight up. I'm going to go briefly through, like, the world settings. I'm not going to really change much of that at all. And two, I'm going to go through traits and settings like that and just where to spawn, what to do, how to play, and things like that. So I'm not going to take much time on settings for your world. You can do whatever you want with that. Um, but anyway, let's, let's stop the yapping. We're going to go to solo here. Okay, we're going to go solo. You can have a couple of options. You have Apocalypse, where it's very stealthy. It's, like, kind of hard. And you have Survivor, which pe most people play on. And then you have a lot of people play on Custom. Custom, you can customize everything if you want. We're going to do Survivor. Okay, plain and simple. We're going to do Survivor. We're going to click We're gonna click Next. Okay, and here's Mulder. We're going to do Server Name, Simple. Surviving. No, oh, it has to be all one, on all one uh, thing. Uh, that's not how you spell surviving. Surviving your first... We'll do first week, because I'm going to end up doing a whole series anyway. Surviving first week. Now, in, in terms of where to spawn, on if this is your solo play or co-op with your friends, Mulder is the best beginner friendly uh, to spawn, I believe. Uh, that or Rosewood. We're going to do Mulder, so you, if you watch this and you want to do the same, that's cool. But either these two are fine. West Point and Riverside, I think, are a little bit more difficult uh to spawn at or whatever but uh we're gonna do Mulder. it's a beginner friendly it's a nice cool town and whatnot so here we go um this is what the yapathon is gonna be a little bit in terms of traits now after this episode it won't be much of a yapathon i'll just be straight gameplay but this will probably be the longest episode out of the entire series um but anyway, if you look here on your left, you have occupation, which you have, of course, all your occupations down here. You have in the middle your all your traits from positive traits up here in the green to your negative in the red. Uh, and there's just a bunch of description stuff here that tells you uh, stuff about your character. At the bottom right here, you'll see points to spend eight, and it is green. That means that we have eight positive trait points that we can select from here. Uh, to use for our character. But don't worry, we can actually increase this number, and that's what I'm getting ready to say. Uh, talk about. I don't know why I said say. Um, just get ready, it's going to be scuffed, because there's no script. I'm just talking, and I'm thinking way ahead before I speak. So, uh, my apologies. Um, but anyway, you have eight trait points. This is your trait point pool. So, obviously if we select something, let's see if... I don't know, we'll, we'll select something that's an 8. We won't keep it, like Hunter. Boom, it's going to go to 0. In order to actually play the game, like to actually go to next, to spawn in, 
you have to have this number at zero or a, 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 or over zero. You want to kind of get it to zero anyway. You don't have to, but it's good. So I'm going to go through the traits. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm going to go through the ones that you should put on, on both positive and negative. We're going to start with the negative first. Okay. We're going to start with one of my personal favorites. Okay. We're going to start with one of my personal favorites. I find it smoker. Okay. If you read here, it says stress and unhappiness decrease after smoking tobacco. Unhappiness rises when tobacco is not smoked. So all this does is it just makes your character a little... Okay, that's not what I wanted. Makes your character a little antsy. Okay, makes your character a little antsy. So after selecting that, we, we, you know, we got four points added. So now we have 12. You have 12 points. So the whole point of selecting your... Your traits is to try to get it as balanced as possible, but there's traits that you can pick that you can counter that just kind of give you free trait points, and Smoker's just one of them. It's free points to get, and it's not that big of a deal. So when we actually get into the actual gameplay part, on the right side of your screen, there will be things called moodlets, and it's kind of like your vitals, what your character needs at the moment, right? Um, and it will be anxious or nervous wreck or whatever, uh, when you have smoker on and a, about a cigarette or two a day usually said you're, you're good you're fine and if you find like two packs of cigarettes you're good for like a year and a half in this game like actually you don't have to smoke that much it's about a cigarette a day a cigarette or two a day sometimes it can be more we're gonna put smoker on it does nothing um, that's all you gotta do next we're gonna do thin skinned okay now that gives us eight that gives us eight more points, and we're going to have 20. And a lot of these you're going to be looking at and thinking, um, you have to be trolling, you have to be joking about some of these that you're picking to tell us to pick. I'm not, and, I, and I, I'll tell you why. Smoker does nothing. It doesn't harm your health. It doesn't do anything. You've already been over that. Thin Skin. Why I'm picking Thin Skin is because since this is a beginner playthrough, our goal isn't to be John Wick or... or or Ricky Dicky Doodah Grimes, okay, and, and go and clear hordes out. Just clear hordes and hordes of zombies out like like we're in Alexandria after Carl just got shot in the face. Alright, no. That's not our goal, so our goal is to be as careful as possible, and what Thin Skin does is that it just increases chance of scratches, lacerations, or bites breaking through the skin. That's it. You're like, well, that doesn't sound good. Well, we don't plan on getting touched by zombies, and we don't plan on jumping through glass, jumping over fences, and running through the forest to scratch ourselves. So thin skin is easy to negate. Just be literally careful, and you're good, and you're fine, and there's nothing There's nothing wrong. You, you, you'll be aight. You'll be aight. And then next is slow healer. Uh, you recover slowly from injuries and illness. Simple as that. And you're like, are you serious? You're actually setting us up for failure. You're praying on our downfall. Uh, no, slow healer, since we don't plan on getting hurt. Again, I could get hurt. Okay, you could get hurt. But picking slow healer is really good. Uh, it, uh, uh, like, it's in, the, it's in the description and in the name. You're just going to take a longer time to heal. And you're going to have to neuter your wound more. So it can be kind of annoying, but it's not that big of a problem. Because even though I've played the game a lot, and I'm very experienced, uh, this doesn't bother me as much. And it's, I, it's an alright. I think... I think you'll be alright if you have this on. Again, you can switch it out if you don't want it. Again, this is your playthrough, but I'm trying to progress you forward on the best um, traits you should pick. Uh, next, we're going to go with Restless Sleeper. Okay. Restless Sleeper, as long as you have a good sleep schedule, this doesn't bother you. Yes, there's a sleep schedule in this game that you should probably keep up. So, like, going to bed at a reasonable time and waking up. A reasonable time is pretty good, especially when you have a restless sleeper, because this kind of like doubles your sleep time. So if I go to bed at like midnight or 1 a.m., I'm going to sleep to like almost noon trying to recover all my my sleepiness back or whatever, my energy. So restless sleeper just, if you have a good sleep schedule, just doesn't really do nothing. So if you go to sleep at like 9, 10 p.m., you can wake up at a good time and start your day, and it will not bother you. So that's what we're going to do. Next, we're going to do high thirst. You're going to be like... uh that's crazy. You just need more water. Uh, that's it. Uh, in the gameplay, I'll show you, you know, what to do because of that. Uh, you can also just get water and boil it from like a lake or a river, so it's actually not that big of a deal. So high thirst isn't, uh, isn't that, isn't that big of a problem. Now, uh, this can be a flex. 
This can be a flex trait. You don't have to pick this one, but fear of blood. Uh, fear of blood. Uh, what this does is, well, obviously, uh, you get panicked when you're performing first aid on yourself. Like if you have a scratch or a laceration when you're band-aiding, your guy kind of gets scared. And since if you're if you are playing solo, if you are playing solo, this is a good free free five points to pick to gain because you're not performing first aid on others so it's not that big of a deal but you do get more stress when you're bloody so when you have a lot of blood on your characters it's going to get stressed and I don't, I don't even think cigarettes really help uh, negate it they do I think it's just I think it comes back um, quick, uh, quick quickie quickly um, but we got fear of blood I don't think I'll actually put this on uh, but there's a good trait you can pick. Nice flex, nice little flex trait. Uh, now we got sleepy head. Okay, sleepy head. Uh, we're gonna throw that on. Uh, I actually, I actually mistaked these. This takes a longer time to gain your energy back, and this needs you just need more. So you're gonna get tired if you have. Again, these two don't do anything to you. Sleepy head and restless sleeper, as long as you have a good sleep schedule. You'll be fine. Yeah, you'll probably find yourself getting tired like 8, 9 p.m. in the game. But you don't need to be up late at night in this game anyway. It's kind of scary and horrible. Uh, prone to illness. Yeah, I said that. Prone to illness. So what prone to illness does is, you're, of course, you're more prone to disease and a faster rate of zombification. Well, we don't plan on getting bitten. So that's not going to worry us. Of course we could. But we got prone to illness. All this really does is don't... Um, be in bad environments like a dirty house like if there's blood all over the walls or if there's corpses around you or if you're outside in harsh weather conditions uh you'll be fine and even foods the next one i'm getting ready to put on uh where is that one? Oh, it's it's a it's a three one sorry um th this one's pretty easy to negate just don't just be smart when you travel what you consume what you do and, and your um your infections on your wounds. If you get like infect, like you get a, a cut and there's gets like dirt in it or whatever and it gets infected, be careful, make sure to take care of that and you're good. Okay, look, we're doing great. 46, 46. Now hearty appetite. Boom. You should already know what that means. You just need to eat more regularly. You just need to eat more. And since this is a beginner, you're not playing on super challenging settings anyway, you're gonna be all right. All right? You're not gonna starve. You're not gonna starve to death. Now, uh, I actually, never mind, I do remember what that one is. But the last one we're going to do is weak stomach. And this one says higher chance to have food illness. And you're like, well, what What the hell? What how, What am I supposed to do now with that? No, no, no. Don't eat any, like, stale food a lot. And do not eat burnt food. And you're good. This does nothing for you. So all these traits are very counterable or they just really don't have that much of a debuff to you. And, and that's it. You can, if you also wanted to, put on Slow Reader. It's an extra two points. I'm not going to do that because that's annoying. Um, slow Reader, since we're playing solo, we can fast forward time and it doesn't really bother. It's not going to matter that much, but that's also another bunch of points. But All right, so this is all the negative traits you're going to need. All of them. And down here at the bottom now we have points to spend 53 positive trait points. 53. So that's really good. One, we're going to go ahead and put Speed Demon on. Uh, you just drive very fast. It's it's actually helpful. Uh, it's pretty good. Okay, that's a song you need to know. It's pretty good. Now, in terms of this, this is there's obviously, you know, people's takes on what's the best uh, positive traits. Honestly, it's whatever you want, whatever you're trying to go for, right? Um. Oh, before I begin, Occupations. I forgot about that. Anyway, you have all your occupations uh, down here. You can select one. You don't have to. If you do unemployed, you're, you're going to get, you know, trait points. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to start with eight, and we've added it all the way up to 52. But we're actually going to pick an occupation. And the best one for solo and even co-op play, if you want to have someone in your group pick it, electrician. Okay. Now, unfortunately, that's going to take away 13 of our points. But look what that gives us. It gives us three points in electrical. It gives us more fitness and more strength than we had before. So it's really good. So our character is pretty strong and he's pretty fit. And we actually have three 
skill points on a uh, on electrical so that's gonna be pretty helpful if you want to in co-op you don't have uh yeah in co-op with your friends or on a server multiplayer server you don't have to pick electrician but in solo i recommend it again you don't have to because you can play how you want but i i recommend electrician because in the game there's going to be a time where the power and water cuts out and you're going to have to find a generator which requires fuel but we'll go through that later in the series about how to you know getting gasoline and stuff so you're going to have to find a generator eventually and if you're not an electrician your guy does not know how to use generators and you have to search for a magazine called how to use generators and read it to gain the knowledge on how to uh use generators so with here with electrician it says you get plus three electrical and can operate generators so you start off with the knowledge of knowing how to plug in a generator to a building or an area and turn it on and use it um to, to keep the power on of course so that's better for solo and everything else you can read what it does or whatever uh burglar's not bad for solo play either you can hotwire vehicles and you know get through windows and stuff mechanic isn't bad either but uh, we're gonna do electrician we're gonna do electrician uh, now it's for the positive traits uh, sorry that, that I almost forgot about the occupation um, here I'm gonna just kind of put together what I like I, I I personally like handy and strong now we're gonna be really low on these already we're gonna be handy and strong we're gonna do organized too so we're at X16. So we have some pretty hefty straights. So this is strong. It adds four strength. That's really good. We're going to have handy. It's going to add plus one carpentry and plus one maintenance skill. So that means that we're a level one carpenter and we're a level one maintenance person. Maintenance is like it helps the condition of your weapons and your tools. So you can repair them at a better successful rate. And uh, you get more health points to your, to your tools and weapons. So... That's always good to have, but this also upgrades throughout the game just by, like, killing zombies and repairing stuff, like your tools and stuff. Uh, it's pretty easy to up upgrade. Carpentry is also pretty easy to get up. Uh, but that's what we're going to put on. Um, we're we're going to, I think, put on... I think we're, I think we're going to go up and put on uh, Cat Eyes. It's two points. Cat Eyes. Um... Dexterous also is very good. It's very good. Uh, what that does, uh, cat eyes, you can see you have better vision at night. And dexterous, you can transfer items quickly. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll also organize is increased container inventory. So that means you have more inventory space in your main inventory. Uh, that's what it does. Uh, we have 12 now. We could put on brave. You're less prone to being panicked. Um... This kind of, I don't think it's useless. It's good for, like, I guess early on, but your character kind of gets desensitized of killing zombies and just the apocalypse in general. So I don't think we're going to put on Brave. Nutritionist is good if you want to see how much calories and stuff you're consuming to keep your, your guy fit. Uh, it's not bad. Eagle Eye isn't bad either. Fast Learner is pretty good uh, if we wanted to put on or fit. We get plus two fitness if we wanted to do that. So here is pretty much literally... All, all you, like, this is all you. Like, you can select whatever you want. I'm thinking about probably doing keen hearing. Uh, you'll have better awareness. And you can hear further. So I think I'm going to throw keen hearing on as well. Uh, we have, we could throw another six on. Or we could figure out, like, oh, maybe we want to put these two on if we wanted. And then we would, you know, yeah, we'll do that. Actually, we don't, we're not going to put on fast reader. Uh, we could put on Outdoorsman to try to affect prone illness, counter it a bit. It wouldn't be bad. Um, but again, this is all subjective. You don't have to do this, but I think we're going to do... This is going to leave us with one. I was going to do Amateur Mechanic, but it's alright. Because Mechanic is terrible to deal with. Um... Okay. So I think we are just going to throw on outdoorsman we're throwing outdoorsman we're gonna, we have four left so let's just select we can do graceful that's not bad inconspicuous 
look likely to be spotted by zombies or nutritionists can see the nutritional values of any food but don't worry we're not we're not gonna need that so i think i'm gonna do inconspicuous here and there you go we're now at zero and we have all of our traits here uh, again your positive traits select majority of the ones i have like organized handy strong speed demon cat eyes dexterous you can just flex these out you can do you know really whatever you want in terms of positive points but the negative is probably what you, these are what you need to put on so now we're going to next now we can create our character um i do have a character i'm going to use he is naked that's okay he, he is naked he's randy sculler but but don't 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 worry we're, we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna give him some pants and stuff we're gonna give him some pants okay uh, we don't need that we don't need that shoes we'll give him some shoes i don't know why it's all black uh but it is that's 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 all we got going on so we got randy skull here he's gonna be a character maybe in the future that i play with and have like a nice little series with um nice little series with like where i gotta do challenges for lore wise and he gives a story it's like kind of like an rp thing and i tell a story through the game and it's just like a little series i'll do that maybe in the future but today we're gonna be surviving with good old randy scholar he's a biker and um for your first day okay so now we're gonna click play these are the end times they certainly are there was no hope for survival Remember that. There was no hope. But with me, you, you're good. You're good. And then this is how you died. So this is the most important text in the entire game. This is how you died. You're going to die. When you start when you start off playing this game, you're going to die a lot. Hopefully this video prevents, prevents you from dying a lot. Okay. So hopefully this is not how you died. But anyway, we're going to click start. We're gonna click start and right off the bat i'm going to pause time we're gonna click this stuff off the screen okay so remember we spawn i almost said spaldra we spawned in maldra so it looks like we spawned upstairs in in a good home in maldra let me check the map again this is what the map's gonna look like for you okay Let them, and this is where maldra is at so again we spawned in uh i know i know where we're at uh, we spawned in a okay spawn. It's not exactly where I would have wanted. But anyway, uh, surviving your first day. So when you spawn in, you're going to be in a house like this, obviously. And what you're going to want to do first is you're going to see these curtains here. It's actually foggy outside. So that's kind of a bad start to our day. But anyway, you're going to go up to this curtain and you can hold shift and E. And you can open and close the curtain. Or you can just right click on it and um, do open curtain. Or you can shift click as well. However you want to do it, whatever's comfortable. So, uh, another tip as well for your uh, inventory management is you want to, at the very top right of your boxes here, there's going to be a thumbtack. You're going to want to click that thumbtack for only the vicinity, for like looking in things and looting. Keep your inventory gone. You can also adjust the size of these. So, you can adjust them however you want them. I keep them around the, the, these sizes, the inventory a little bit bigger. But anyway, we're wasting time. Uh, excuse me. Um, okay, so actually we didn't spawn upstairs. I'm a dummy. Um, okay, there's a car outside. So there's no curtains down here for some reason. Not on all these windows. So we're actually going to have to stay crouched. Because zombies can see us. Uh, uh, this doesn't have a curtain either. Uh, can see us through... Um, through the windows so we actually need to be careful so no lights on uh for us this is oh god no 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 i don't want to set the alarm sorry i wanted to make sure there was not an alarm set so there is no alarm if you find things like this um make sure they're not set so we're actually going to close this curtain it's not going to matter much there's nothing in that room and i think we just came from here so we haven't found nothing we are going to pick up this pin we're going to be like why well it's important uh, we're gonna mark the map down if we need to uh okay so we're gonna pick up a pen and a pencil and this crossword puzzle in case we get bored um so 
what you can do is you can stay in your home spawn if you wanted. Okay, there's a frying pan. So we can use that to cook, but it's also a okay weapon. It, it can't be. Okay, radio. Another tip. We found a radio. Make sure it's turned off. Um, radios are pretty good. If you just go up to it, if you find them on the table here and right click on them and go to device options you can turn it on here see if there's a battery in it it's power and you can change the volume when it's on and click here to change the channel these channels are use useless they don't do anything for you they're just kind of like story lore type stuff uh they're pretty cool to like hear people's stories or whatever but they're they're not they're not important um i actually don't think there's a tv in this entire house because tvs work the same way um for the radio, you want to find the emergency broadcast system. And what that's going to do... Oh, this is good. This is good right here. Painkillers and adhesive advantages. And if you want to select certain things and drag them in the inventory, you can control left click and then just drag them over. And you're good. I'm going to keep that door shut. So... Okay, so we have some food. And we have some, some stuff in here. We have a beer bottle to drown our sorrows away. Grapefruit. You want to eat this stuff and get rid of it first. So we're not going to eat none of this canned stuff. Plus, we can't even open it because we don't have a can opener. So we're probably going to go through the ground beef and peas in a little bit. Um, For now, uh, we have a pencil. Uh, I kind of wish the pencil you could erase stuff with because it's supposed to be an eraser. Uh, uh, I don't know why it's not a thing. But... Um, we could use this as our home, little home here, uh, just to loot around, get our, get our bearings, uh, and that's what we're actually going to do. I'm going to pause real quick. That's actually what we're going to do, all right? You can pause if you're playing solo. You cannot do that in co-op. So it's actually what we're going to do. So we're going to mark it down, okay? And if we find an eraser, we'll deal with it. We're going to get our blue pin out, and we're going to find, uh, well, where is it? Oh, the little home icon, and we're just gonna we're just gonna throw it down right here to mark as our home. So I hate playing this game by myself because I'm scared a lot of the time because I hate leaving my home. So your spawn house is supposed to be fairly safe, and it is, but sometimes zombies will just pull up around you here. So if you hold left or sorry, right click, you can aim. You can aim. And, and focus on the zombie. And if you click space, it pushes them over. And you can get on top of them. If you stand on them like this, they can't get up. So now we can just click space and stop on his head and kill him. Now we're going to click I uh, because I, I took away. Clicking I just gets rid of your top inventory stuff. We're going to click it and open back up. So now what we're going to do is since he's dead, we're going to go to rip clothing and we're just going to go to rip all. So you're going to do this for some of the zombies you kill what this is going to do is we're going to get ripped sheets they're actually dirty so we shouldn't use those well we actually have two ripped sheets and two dirty ones so we need to make sure we use the clean ones i hear a zombie that's kind of scared me so this car kind of looks broken and busted up uh when i'm combating i like to close my stuff i don't like seeing that at the top of my screen it distracts me a bit so since we're really strong we can push these zombies over and you don't want to fight a bunch of zombies at once try to take on one or two at a time they're not that big of a deal and it's also a good tip to zoom all the way out and do this so those are the homes we need to go to so we probably won't actually live in this one but so it's good to do this to see your surroundings see what's going on so we got three zombies down there and we have a zombie trying to break in over there for some reason i don't know why uh again we're going to make sure we have enough rags, just in case. Uh, finding a watch will be pretty important. It looks like the fog cleared, so we can see a little bit more of the car. Back of the car is open. This is locked, and we don't have the key, and I didn't see it inside, so what I'm going to do is actually smash it open. That is going to make noise. Yes, it is going to make noise, but it shouldn't be loud enough to attr attract any zombies that that didn't i almost was like that's crazy if it did so we'll unlock the doors from the inside and look at that we have a louisville map which we will take and cigarettes and this stuff so 
No car keys. Unfortunate. We did get some good loot. We did get some alright loot. So we're actually going to go across the street. There's a car over there. Quite a few zombies. Actually, a lot of zombies. Uh... You want to pick your fights very carefully. You can loot mailboxes if you wanted to. Sometimes they have magazines in them. So we are getting thirsty. So here's the moodlets at the top of the screen. We're getting thirsty. Oh, see, the TV's on, so that's why the zombie's trying to break in. The door is locked, so now we're going to try to go to the window. You just click E to, do, to get in it. Seems like we can't get in. Unfortunate. Um, all these are locked. Uh, we got some zombies coming. Not good. Not good. Uh, nothing that we can't handle, though. Nothing we cannot handle. You gotta push one down at a time. Try to stand over one. Take your ground. Take your ground. Killing zombies does make noise, by the way. Um, I don't know what time we started in. We're trying to find a watch, too. I don't know what time we started in. So I don't know how hot it is, but we actually are gonna put on this sweater. What this is going to do is it's going to... What? It's a v-neck sweater, but it's a short sleeve v-neck sweater? Okay, I've never seen that before. Um, I guess that makes sense. But anyway, it appears that we can't get in here. So we're going to have to we're gonna have to smash the window. <laughs> We're gonna make noise. Make sure to remove broken glass. Right click on it. Click remove broken glass. And then we can jump in. Because if we don't do that, we're gonna be in trouble. So we're gonna take care of this TV by literally turning it all the way down. And we're gonna go to life and living and tune into it. And this is what I was talking about the TV channels. There's TV channels that you have to watch. There's only one that's life and living. So when you find a TV, turn it on life and living TV. I'm gonna pause actually real quick. Turn it on Life and Living TV, and this will give you skills. There's, I think, actually four shows that come on in time intervals. One is 6 a.m., which is a cooking show, always a cooking show. One is at noon at 12 p.m., which is a carpentry show, which is really important. You should catch that. It's free points. The third one is Exposure Survival Guide at 6 p.m., which I think can be fishing, trapping, foraging, farming, uh, cooking as well. It can be anything. And I think there's actually one at midnight that I haven't actually caught a lot, which I think is strictly fishing only. So be sure to catch those times. You get free points. Uh, do not miss out on the free XP points. You get free free levels up. So we're going to keep this on. Um, does he have a... He doesn't have a watch. So we're going to loot this house. Now we're getting hungry and we're getting thirsty. So all we got to do now... Oh, we should clean our rags. Right-click on everything to, like inspect it or do whatever so we actually have a lot more food so we're actually gonna drink let's wash we're actually gonna drink so we drunk something we have canned food we're gonna be bringing back with me we can carry it uh there is a cooking pot in here so we actually aren't gonna grab that we can fill it up with water later so these are pretty good these vhs's these are they help your, your character not be bored um so what we're gonna do oh see the carpentry shows on right now so now we're getting free carpentry. And if you click L and go to our list of stuff, you can actually sit down on the ground. Sit down and watch. Now we have carpentry. So now we're carpentry level two. We're almost carpentry level three. We are cruising through. We are cruising through. Uh, so it looks like the carpentry show is done. We, all, we got pretty much halfway. We did get halfway, actually, into carpentry level 3. And woodcraft is over. So it's around noon. It's around 1 p.m. now, I would I would like to think. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to fill this cooking pot up. And it is going to weigh us down a lot more. But what this is going to allow us to do is drink from it. Um, we don't have to manually drink. And we're getting hungry. So I think... I think we're going to have some peas. We should bring all the stuff back with us anyway. Oh, if you go down here and I think you click S on your mini-map, uh, you can uh, pull your icons up that you marked down. So we're actually going to we're gonna eat these peas. We're going to throw them in the oven. Okay, we're going to throw them in the oven. We're going to click Turn On, but also you can right-click on it and go to Settings. We're going to put it to 450. All right. So we're going to go in here. Nothing in the bathroom. Good, good. This is a weird house. Oh! <gasps> Okay, so we found 
We found a saw. That's going to be important later on for base building, but we found two hammers and a hand torch. We're going to take both of those. And now what we're going to do, instead of using the frying pan, we're going to use the, we're going to use the hammers. So we're going to left click, or sorry, right click on the hammers. I'm going to click belt left or right or whatever that said. Belt left. We're going to make sure we're not... Okay, so this is fresh now, and we're going to eat all of it. So we warmed our peas up. They're nice and warm. What we're going to do is we're actually going to wash our frying pan off in case we ever want to use it. Now we got a hammer. A hammer is actually one of my favorite weapons. It's nice, it's short, it's close range. So now that we've looted this, we can just take our X and mark it off. Okay, we're going to mark it off knowing that we, we looted. We looted it. Next here is a grocery store. It's going to be really good to loot, but we don't have anything to really carry it right now. Okay, so that's troublesome. That's kind of scary. Let's see, there's nothing that we can't handle. Nothing that we can't handle. You just want to kind of keep them in a motion. It stuns them. And you can kind of back up. See, he's dead, and you can kind of push them down. Take some ground. So let's talk, this looks like a store clerk that we're killing right now. So they're kind of, kind of, they're kind of coming in on us here. Okay, so now we, we have all the ground in the world like this. All dead. I didn't kill this guy. They're all dead. Um, so it looks like none of these people have a watch. Unfortunate. Uh, so the grocery store is kind of full. I'm going to click I to get that off my screen. I don't like seeing that. We could go to that big house down there. Which I think is what we'll do. Uh, I'm kind of looting in a weird way, but um, it's whatever. So as we, of course, move on, we'll open up parts of the map. This is actually a food store. I'm going to pause the time before I get munched. Munched? Oh, well, actually, I can't. Uh, it'll be fine. I'll do it in this house. Um, Scan around. We're going to check that blue car up top. thought that zombie had a bag. It's just his, his jacket or his, his clothes are ripped. So the door is locked. Hopefully we can open the window. And again, you just click E to get in it. And he'll try to force it open. And now it's open. Okay, so we did not get an alarm. That's pretty good. Um, there's a lot of first aid volumes in here. So what we're going to do first before entering any house, close any curtains that are available. We could put on some jeans. Okay, so there's either a zombie inside or outside. Uh, we are going to take these and we're going to... Best of Bojangles. That's crazy. Um, so we're going to go up top. Okay. So that was scary. Alright, so... I'm going to close these. All of them. Uh, we don't need any of that. Apparently the zombie knows I'm here. It's in one of these rooms. Good note. Not only can you hear them breaking the door down, but you can see it. You can also spam it really close. If you don't know if, if there's no zombies there and you don't know that, you can spam E real quick and open it. And check real quick. But anyway, they're breaking it open. We know they're in there. We're just going to go in, wipe them out, take care of them. Uh, shut the curtain so we're not getting found out. Uh, we, oh, we will take red. We love all that. Um... You don't have to pick these newspapers and stuff up, but if you read it, look, stress reduction. You know, get rid of it. Speed up time. I should have put fast reader on. Should have put it on, like I wanted. So now I'm getting anxious. I'm getting anxious, but I have cigarettes, but nothing to light them. Uh, unfortunate. Uh, upstairs didn't have nothing for us. Kind of lame. Oh, I don't know if I... Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, look, nice baseball cap. We're going to wear it backwards because we're, we're rad like that. Um, okay, here we go. We're hitting the mother load. We have another griddle pan. An empty bowl. Here we go. We're going to take this, but we're going to take all the containers. We're going to take all the food because we're not going to be back in here. Oh, ice cream and pork chops are good. Here we go. We're going to take all this. Now we actually act, actually have a real water bottle. So we can cook stuff with these. We're not going to bring them. They're not that important. Uh, we have some good stuff here. Uh, you can dry yourself with dish towels and a bunch of stuff, but we're actually going to bring all this with us. We are getting ready to be encumbered after this. So we now, we're now we're now encumbered. It doesn't do much for us. 
Uh, it's just fairly heavy load. It's not going to bother us that much. So this house didn't really have anything. Uh, it did have... I am taking this magazine. They're good to read just to cure boredom and stress. Uh, I don't know if I actually even have... Oh, I do. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to mark it down that we have been here with the X. It's good. So we've been here with the X. And now, since I know that this is a grocery store... We're going to mark it as a grocery store. We're going to mark it as a grocery store. So we're actually going to go back to our little base of operations. Uh, you can you can crowd sprint. We're going to use it for now as a base of operations. Um, I actually don't like this house that much. So for right now, we just need to grab some loot. Take the frozen stuff, put it in the freezer. So like, you know, pork chops and stuff like that. And we're good. And uh, now we're gonna. Oh, I didn't put the, I didn't put the grapefruit and stuff up. There we go. So now we're gonna go to this little corner where we have all of our stuff, and we're gonna dump all of it in there. No, no, all of it in there. Okay, so a zombie just jumped over that fence. Uh, they don't see us because we're crouched. So if you're near walls, the guy's super hunkered down. But if you're just kind of out in the open, he kind of stands up. See how I crouch up? So if you're near walls, he crouches down, and uh, he stands he stands up. So what we're going to do is I hate to do this because it's probably going to draw more attention, unwanted attention, but I am actually going to take care of this take care of this zombie. Um, they can't, they don't hear us. Well, they did now. Uh, I'm actually going to take the polo neck. There we go. Hit. There we go. That's better. Uh, we're going to rip this up. Oh, I don't like how that looked. So, we're good. We're fine. We're going to go in and do this. We're actually going to lock this door. And we're chilling. We're chilling. So, also, a cool note to have is if we have a cooking pot. Where is our cooking pot? Wait. Wait a minute. What? Oh, it's right here. I'm so dumb. Anyway, if you put the cooking pot in the oven and turn it on, you can start boiling it. Boiling. All right, so we can't speak. Boiling it. Okay. Uh, we're going to make sure to clean the rags off, like wash them. And remember, you do have to clean yourself and stuff. So we're actually going to fill the water bottle up. And we're going to fill the bowl up because we want to make sure we have enough water. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to throw that in there just because why not. So, this is boiling. Excuse me, I burp. Now we can disinfect rags. We're going to disinfect all 12 of them. So, we're going to sit here. Get them all disinfected. We're good. We're good to go. Now, we can turn it off. And it used, like, over half of the stuff. So, we're actually going to place it on the stove here. The cooking pot. That's not on the stove, but... It's alright. And you can place things. You just go to an inventory, click place item. Uh, that's what we need right there. All right So we are hungry again, and that's you're probably like oh you shouldn't have put the hearty appetite on shut up All right, it's a good it's a good trait It's just you do have to eat and if you click H This will show your overall body status if you're injured or whatever P is your protection. So our protection is terrible uh, And you can also go to uh, oh sorry temperature also you can check your temperature here if you I paused it K, K just shows your FPS uh, B is your crafting, by the way. L is your, like I said, your skill points. Nah. I think J is your info. I'm clicking escape. J is your info. So it shows you your weight, how much zombies you've killed, your favorite weapon, all your traits, your name, and how cool you look. So anyway, um, what we're actually going to do is plan for the future. Well, since we're never going back into a lot of these buildings... What we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to take any curtains we see on the windows and we are going to remove them and bring them to our little base, our little house. And what that's going to do is um, allow us to cover up stuff that we need to cover up so we can walk freely in our home. We can walk freely in our home, so we don't have to be worried about being literally stream sniped by zombies. Um, like I said, this is probably going to be the longest episode until the 
until the day's over. Until I go to sleep and wake up in the game, the episode will not end. So I, I've lost all track of time. We don't have a watch. We haven't found one. Usually you find one on a zombie by now. You can also hold E to jump over fences if you're walking. Uh, you can also sprint over them. I don't recommend it because you have a chance of falling and hurting yourself. But no, we're gonna we're gonna do add sheet. I think we have okay. We we have plenty. We have plenty. Um, we're gonna do it on here because this faces the street. Uh, you can put one on the door if we wanted, but I'm gonna put one. Uh, I'm gonna put one on this back window that I don't think that I can get to actually for some reason. Since this is in the back, we're not going to worry about this. What is... Oh, that's the bathroom. We don't need to worry about that. We're actually going to have to put this on the outside, oddly enough, and close it. So, kind of sucks, but whatever. Alright. So, we're going to we're gonna look at the map. We're going to see where we're going to next. We want to hit these big houses down here. Those are probably where we want to live. We probably will just move to this one, honestly. Um, it's whatever. I believe it's going to get dark soon. Uh, I can tell by it's like getting dusk soon. So what we're going to do... Oh, shoot. Hello, sir. He doesn't have a watch. I can see his wrist. He doesn't have one. So we're just going to kill him. Because he chose death for some reason. Um, you don't have to be super sneaky. You don't have to be super sneaky, but it's important. So there's a lot of zombies at the grocery store that we're going to have to clear out. We actually should go one more... All right, woodpecker. We should go one block down. Is where I think the better houses are, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, they don't matter. So what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna close I. I'm gonna click I. It looks like looks like we got some zombies. So I'm gonna show you some clearing horde tactics. All right. So this is our. Okay, we pulled some zombies. That's good. We pulled two. That's that's more than enough. That's more than great. We pulled two. Now, zombies can see pretty much as far as I can, but of course they can't zoom out like I can. So, what we're going to do is we're going to kill them. They are separated apart, so this is going to be the easiest kills of our life. Bada beam, bada boom, like that. Just push this one over. Kill them. Dead. Um, okay, here we go. We have a classical wristwatch. It's going to show us the time. It is 6.50 p.m., but it, it's not a digital one, so we don't know the day, but we don't need to worry about it. It's 6.50. We did miss the exposure, and we we did watch the carpentry. So the other two zombies are, like, kind of facing the door so they didn't see me. These guys were looking to me, so I entered their visibility cone, and they targeted me. What you can do when you're crouched is click Q, and you whisper, and you can actually draw zombies away from a board that way. We just one-tapped this guy pretty much. We're looking for a digital watch. Uh, hold alt if you're standing over a zombie and you can target that one on the ground, by the way. Um, we don't need to rip up any more stuff. 12 is more than enough. Um, so we've pulled that one away. It was it was turned around. It turned around and looked at us. There should be garbage bags in there, hopefully. And we should be able to... Yeah, there's a garbage can right next to it. So we're going to be able to get... We're going to be able to get a garbage bag to carry more stuff. So we're going to kill the zombie with our hammer. And we're just going to crip walk up behind them. And we're just going to we're gonna take care of them. They don't know we're here. Sneaking up on them. Sneaking up on them right now. They don't know. That zombie had no idea. Now they're dead. And when they're on the ground, they're like, they're big critical hits. So we take care of them. And it's locked. Oh, we love them being locked. So now we have a garbage bag. We can click right click on it go to equip the secondary next next to us over there is a med station it's a look it's a little pharmacist place or wherever we're just gonna click that med medical supplies it's like a little doctor's office uh we might have to break a window to get in kind of sucks um we're gonna do it on this side i think in the back uh it's gonna be a little bit more quieter so what are we doing i have no idea so let's break this one that is really loud. We're going to clear the glass. Make sure you have a weapon in your hand to clear the glass off the window. Otherwise, you're going to... Alright, so we actually crip walking on the desk right now. Uh, yeah, make sure you have a weapon in your hand to clear the glass off. Off the window so you don't get hurt. So anyway, here we are. We're going to loot some of the stuff. We're going to put it in our little goodies bag here. A little goodie bag here. 
We have a lot of this fresh stuff. I'm glad we hit this soon. There's nothing really in here on the counter or whatever. So, like the cashier stuff. So, don't worry about it. So, we got lots of ice cream. Ice cream is really good to help you get stop being hungry. Um, we're just going to put everything in here. You want to loot everything, even if it seems stupid, everything. So, see, we're getting tired at 7 p.m. We're getting drowsy. This is actually going to affect us a lot more than you think. It's going to take us longer to kill zombies, and it's just going to be really annoying. So, this place is looted. This place is literally looted right now. We have a lot of food. Oh, we have so much food. We have so much food. Our goodies bag is going to be... It's going to be so good. Um, holy cow. So, holy cow. Man, we are... We are... We are winning big. We are winning. Again, this is just standard settings. I, I touched none of it. I didn't go to sandbox. None of it. So, that's a pretty good haul. Okay. That's a pretty good haul for me. Um, oh, there is also a back. I forgot about that. Um, we are going to get a garbage bag, another one, because we're going to need it later in the long run. Here we go. Goodies bag, instant popcorn, and cereal. So we just hit the biggest lick of 2024, essentially. No zombies out back, chilling, doing crack, probably. I don't know what they're doing. But they're not there, so we're going to take the other garbage bag. So what we're going to do... Is you know how I said we're going to switch homes? We're actually going to go to this big home and clear it out. Now, we do have a heavy load. Oh, we have a lot of stuff we're carrying. But don't worry, we're going we're gonna to move everything over. Because um, we want we want to be in these bigger homes. Uh, it has a big fence. It's safer. It's a dead person. So we can move through these little hedges. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wipe them out. Uh, we're just gonna wipe them out. Take care of them. So we're gonna we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit a little bit slower and do a little bit less damage uh, to the zombies. Here we are drowsy and we're getting tired. We're getting anxious too. Uh, we're gonna try to kill them away from the house. I don't want them too close to the front door. I'm. I don't know if that's the sound effects I am hearing. I am hearing zombies. See, I hear I heard them. I knew I wasn't. No, I wasn't crazy. I know it wasn't smoking nothing. So we do have a leather jacket on this zombie. That we will probably be taking. Uh, I wish we had a classical, not a classical, a digital watch. We have a classical at the moment. Uh, digital watches are good to let us know the temperature as well. So the zombie does have a leather jacket. It's better than what we have. I am not going to put it on right now. We are going to take it. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to boozy on up. Uh, the front door is kind of facing the street. I don't like that, but hey, what does it matter? Okay, so we're not living in here because it's vacant. So I just wasted my time. Uh, we will loot it. Uh, not right now. The zombie looks like they have a, like a knife in their back. It's probably a butter knife or whatever. It's not a good one. Yeah, it's a butter knife. Uh, we, all, we will be moving uh, into these bigger houses. But I think I'll just move a block down to the normal houses or whatnot. Uh, anyway... So, it's 9 p.m. It's still daylight, so I know it's probably spring or summer in the playthrough right now. Um. Oh, yeah. We got some red glad. Okay, those are not rad at all, actually. Um. Get those off my face. I <laughs> Let me cook, bro. Um, take those off. Alright. So, what we're gonna do... Is this, this house isn't too bad. It has a little fence. I mean, they're going to jump over it. They're just going to, like, fall off of it or fall over the fence. It's not It's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's just whatever, you know. Um, I would like to get another curtain, though. I'm going to crouch down because we don't have that curtain. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all of our fresh stuff in the fridge. Keep it nice and fresh, obviously. You don't have to put drinks in there, but it's recommended. Um, this is instant popcorn. Zucchini fresh. Put it in there. Fresh fruit muffin. Put it in there. Carrot. Put it in there. I think that said carrot. Another sandwich. Put it in there. The guy is getting hungry, so we might eat some. Burritos and bananas. Put them in there. So we just hit the biggest lick, like I said, in 2024. So what we're going to do is all this stuff in here. We're just going to click transfer all. And all it's going to do is we're going to... Let's fast forward a bit. It's going to put everything in there for us. And there we go. Now our bag is empty. We need to get rid of some of the stuff in our main inventory. We're not using it. Um, I will go ahead and fancy myself this cheese sandwich, though. 
Now, we do have a bookshelf right here. We are going to be moving soon, like I said, so we don't need to get too comfortable. Um, I'm just going to put stuff in here that I'm not using right now. Um, we'll put the garbage bags in there as well. We will throw this on. So we can wear the sweater and the leather jacket. We're going to read this Louisville map. That's placing it. My bad. Uh, we're going to read it. So this will give us a part of the map unlocked in Louisville. It's a big town. You can go there. So we click M. We can scroll all the way out. And now we have a small portion of Louisville open. It's very far. We probably will never go there in this playthrough, but it's what not. It's whatever. Um, we've read it, so we just put it up. We never need it again. Um, so it looks like we're chilling. We're good. It is getting darker. It's it's 10 p.m. somehow, and it's still bright outside. I don't understand that. But before we end it or go to sleep or get tired, we are getting sleepy. We are tired, so we actually need to head to bed soon. We... We will, we will loot this house later on. It just had moving boxes in it because I saw it through the door. Uh, okay, another zombie decided to show up at the grocery store. I've done looted it, buddy. There ain't none there for you. I promise. Um, see, now it's taking me a little longer to kill zombies on the ground when I'm tired. And it's just not... It's not wise. So it's going to get dark soon. We need to head back eventually. But I want to loot one more thing before we go. We have a black digital watch. Perfect. Set it on... Set it on my wrist. Here we are. It is July. In the game. Uh, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Uh, let's make sure it. there's no alarm. There is no alarm set on the watch, so we're good. So there's a couple zombies dead outside. Remember, there's that blue car that I said we was going to loot. Uh, the, the, the lights will come on. The street lights and stuff. So, holy cow. Zombie breaking it down scared me. I don't know why they're doing that. So, we're going to have kill two zombies here. He fell down. We're going to kind of alternate back and forth because I can't stand on both of them at once. And he's dead. He should have. Holy sh... Dude, that scared me. So, she's dead. And she has a duffel bag. So, we are, we are hitting licks. Hitting licks. So, so, now we can put this on our back. Equip on back. And boom. Now we have a duffel bag for extra storage capacity. So I am going to put this medical mask on to look cool. It does nothing but make us look like a survivor. Um, the door is open for us, so that's perfect. We're going to look around, open the door. Ain't nothing in here. There's no windows in here, so we can actually turn this on. We found an eraser. That's good. Um, more adhesive tape. That's not great for... It's not perfect for... For repairing stuff but it'll do the job so now we're hitting big licks with medical supplies here i mean look at all that look at all these medical supplies hitting licks hitting licks so what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw these surgical gloves on i don't think they even give me protection but i'm putting them on holy moly look at that we're we're hitting licks now so i think we just came from here oh no we didn't turn the light on if i can see it uh, we already have a first aid volume one, so we're not going to take that. We're going to take both books because it's good to have. Uh, of course, you already know we're looting that. It's getting late, so I need to kind of hurry this up and get back home. And that's literally all of it. You can click loot all as well if there's stuff you need. And you can do it. You can loot all. So there shouldn't be any more zombies in here, I don't think. Uh, I don't want open here. I think it's just a bathroom. We're good. We're chilling. Speaking of that, actually, let me let me make sure my water bottle is filled up. It is. All right, so now we're going to head back. Um, we're going to miss the cooking show. I really don't care. You see how it's dark out now and the lights are on? I'm kind of scared. I'm going to get home. I'm going to get home. We can sprint because we know we cleared a lot of this stuff out. Because uh, we're chilling. Now, zombies will migrate in and out of cells is what they're called. Uh, in and out of places. So I'm sprinting and getting really hot. And it is really hot outside. And I have a shirt on. A sweater on. And a whole leather jacket on. So. And now we're getting exerted. That's alright. So here we go. We're going to lock this door. We're going to lock the door. Uh, I can't really turn the lights on. Oh shit. I think the zombie has witnessed my... The zombie has witnessed me. This kind of sucks. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't hear me. It hurt me. It hurt me. Can you please die? Okay. So, this is what I'm talking about. Things don't go to... 
don't go as planned in this game. Uh, this is unfortunate because it's midnight. Uh, and I'm murdering zombies in my backyard. So, okay, we're good. We need a we need a curtain. We need a curtain on this door. We're gonna lock both doors. So I don't think I picked up any food from that. Uh, whatsoever. Uh, we're not encumbered, but we are sleepy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the back room here where the lights are on. And that's it. Um, hold on. Let me let me get let me get a little bit more. Little 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 bit more uh, in depth with you, Mac Mac. Uh, no no, that's not it. Zoom levels. We'll do two twenty five. We'll go to two twenty five. Wait, no, I think that's zooming out. That didn't do nothing. It didn't do nothing. Anyway. Um. That was your first day. I'm going to pause it, actually. I'm going to pause it real quick. That was your first day of surviving. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that was entertaining. Hopefully it was informational. Hopefully I gave enough tips and it wasn't too much yapping. Yappa yappa thon. Um, again, I'm probably going to continue this series anyway, just because I want to, like, surviving your first week and maybe even your second week. Um, there's a lot that has to be done in the game in general, you know, in terms of surviving one day. You know, there's a lot of things you got to get done and do. And all we did was loot a couple houses, and I don't know what time we, sp we, we started off on. So this wasn't even a full day, um, that we probably experienced. We probably started at 9 a.m., Maybe. Probably 9 a.m. in the game. And again, I didn't get to set that. Uh, it's just random. So, um, what happens in the next episode is all we got to do is, is, is loot some of those bigger houses down here, you know, at the bottom. The bottom right down here in my little mini-map. Loot them, move into the, the better, better house block. We won't move to the one below us where the moving boxes are. We'll move to the next one over. Uh, in front of the medical station, sort of little hospital, uh, and we'll set up shop because I think it's the safest one. Um, so all we're really going to be doing for the next couple of days and episodes is literally getting as much loot we can, trying to find a generator, hitting the spots that I know where we can find the stuff like that. There's some storage units here in Muldra that I can hit. We don't want to go too fast on the generator because it, it, you kind of have goals you have to achieve. And if you just speed run everything, it stales the game out. So, like I said, in the next episode, it's just clearing out, looting some more, getting more stuff, moving our base of operations because I don't like this house. It's a little small, and I don't like sleeping on the ground floor. So when we leave, we will we will take all the curtains and go to the new house just in case we need them. Um, but that's it. Surviving your first day. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that was entertaining. Uh, if you like this, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below as well. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of tips and stuff that I miss. I'll, I'll do better and things next time. I'm trying to give tips and talk about my thought process and what you should do and what you need to do as we go. Uh, it'll get better throughout the series, I hope. But uh, I'm just trying to point you in a direction where you need to go uh, when playing this game. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this was Surviving Your First Day in Project Zomboid. So, like I said, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I hope I hope this helps a lot of people. And again, I'm going to do another episode anyway, regardless of how this one does. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I guess I'll see you guys on, the, on day two. On day two. Peace.